This is the first video in a series called FileMaker Find Fundamentals. Many users and even developers have never taken or been given the proper time for training and understanding all of the multitude of options and power behind the find mode and functions in FileMaker's system. We get to jump right in, we find a few things out and we use those without knowing the full power. So we want to go through and really see if we can learn a few things. I know I learned a few just in preparing this video, even after 30 years of developing with FileMaker. So let's jump right in as we move through all of these in the series and learn some things that should help whether you are a user or a developer. The first thing to note is there's quite a bit of information in the help file summary. This is a great online tool that you can find by going to the help file and just FileMaker Pro Advanced Help. And there is a large section under finding records. It goes on quite a bit. We're not going to read through all of this. We're going to give you a visual summary, but that is there if you want to dig even deeper. We have find mode tools and display icons. So the first thing to note is we have this in our status toolbar if that's available and we can create a new find modify the last find save a current find and we have all of these other options here we also need to go to view and find mode and see there is a keyboard shortcut for command f or control f on windows so let's just click on that and let's type in some text in the first name and then you hit enter. You could also have chosen perform find up here and notice as soon as I hit find again, those are gone unless I come back and do the records. I can do a modify last find or see what the last find was. So we'll do that one. And we can see there is a stew, which is what I typed in, which also brings us to a couple of the most common mistakes. Once you are in find mode, everything here may not necessarily look different. We do have the search icon, but many, many times I have seen users start typing information in and they think they are actually in a data entry mode. And so when they try to commit and nothing changes, they get a little frustrated because as soon as they cancel this, they've lost all that they have entered. So helping to understand the difference between find mode and browse mode can be very helpful. The next one is doing a find in form view instead of list view. So if we do that same find that we just did, we are on a record that matched that criteria, but there's actually nine records. And if we wanted to scroll through and see which one do we want, it's not as productive or simple as if we were in a list mode where we could see all of them at a glance and put in the same criteria here that we had in the other view simply because it's the same field, it's the same table. So we put in stew and we can see all of our options. So if you are looking for something more specific, very specific, that could only be one record, then form view may be okay, but generally you want to do your find in list view. And once we have our found set, there's nine that we found out of all 10,019 records, you could simply click this and it will toggle to the other set the opposite of what we had found. So there's nine records that are missing, which are the ones that we found initially. And you can toggle back and forth in between found sets. We'll talk more about that later. 
But let's go into find mode again, and you'll notice that we do not have the search magnifying glass on these fields because you cannot search in some types of fields, summary, container, global, and web viewer. So you can't even click inside like you can there where the cursor stays. You can't even click in these. So there's no searching of those in the advanced part. We'll show you a couple of tricks to get around that as well. And then we have the difference between find, constrain, and extend. And this can be very confusing at first. And when we have our uh, find mode, then you can go up to the requests and constrain or extend the found set or do a find. So you have three possibilities here. You also have that same option if you were actually on a field and you right click, you have find, constrain, or extend. And that can be very helpful instead of going to find mode and then up to view. And you can also highlight one part inside the field, right click that and find matching records. And there are actually 14 that have that in this particular set. So those are some fast ways to do a search of everyone in California. You can just right click and find very quickly. But let's see a comparison of find, constrain, and extend. Find always starts with all records in the table regardless of the current found set and results in either all records, a smaller subset, or nothing and it will not be sorted except for the creation order of those records. Constrain will start with the current found set even if it is all records and will result in the current found set or smaller subset or nothing and it does retain the sort order. Extend starts with the current found set even if it's all of the records and will result in the current found set or larger subset or all the way up to all records and does retain the sort order. So this is great basic terminology that will really help understand when you get to the advanced parts of doing complex finds. If we look at our current found set from our California list, if we wanted to do a constrain found set, then it should end up with 577 or fewer on this word stew. And there are nine. If we do an extend found set of maybe the postal code, we can't go lower than nine, but it could go all the way up to all records depending on how many have that, and it went to 14. So you always want to be aware of those three possibilities, and it does retain the sort order. The one uh, area that I thought was really kind of fun is if we do a show all, they are not sorted, or actually we'll sort these ascending, so now they are sorted. And if we perform a find, now they are unsorted. But if we go back to this and we sort them ascending, and this time we do a constrain found set, notice they remain sorted. And the same thing happens if we extend the found set, it remains sorted, even if you are in the all, which we'll have to sort this again, and then we extend the found set and it's still sorted. So the find, this general find will change the sort order, which can be very important as you move further into more advanced finds. Another option is omit. So generally when we click on find, we are going to look for something like stew, but we have this little toggle switch here that says instead of looking for matching records of this, we want to actually get rid of anyone that has this. And then when we hit perform find, you notice we have everything but the nine that we did 
the opposite of. So it's almost like when we did this find and then we hit the toggle switch, it's the opposite of the previous find. So this can be very, very helpful and save you a lot of time uh, trying to figure out the opposite of a particular complex find by just using omit instead. And then next you have the stacked multiple requests. And this is easier to view when you are in list mode view. So you can put stew here and then you put new request and you could put art and you could have another request and put in maybe Smith and you can add a new request and we'll just put something strange you can even use the keyboard shortcuts for new record that's the same as if you are in browse mode and create a new record and we'll put in joe and now when we hit enter we get our set of all of those criteria as an or find it's going to look for any of those so if we go to modify last find or command r it actually brings up everything that we just did so it's looking for this or this or this or this or this if they're in the same record this way then if we put stu height here and art smith here then each record has to match both of these not just this one or this one so this can be somewhat confusing unless you grasp the concept of the same record versus different records with multiple requests so this is an and these are ors when you are searching in the find and each record here can have a separate omit or include so we can omit joe and when we go to the other records you see that it's include and if we omit smith here that would be rather silly since we wanted art smith we're going to find art smith but then we're going to omit anything that has smith so these actually cancel each other out because of the way this is set so having it in list view can sometimes help with those complex searches to see unnecessary things that you might be searching. And in any of these, you can simply hit return and it will do the find as if you were in the last one. And then we'll show one more piece here. If you're in find mode and instead of doing command N or control N or new request, if you accidentally did command F or perform find what will happen here in this screen we hit perform find that is good but if we have this modify last find and we hit command f it gets rid of everything that was here and we lost our complex search so sometimes that can be frustrating if you get command f happy so those are some of the basic fundamentals. And if you want to stop a find that is taking quite a while, then you can use the escape key or the command period. You will know, you will find out eventually that indexed fields are faster and you actually get to set whether or not they are indexed in the managed database. So all of these that are indexed are going to find faster than if they are not indexed. And as soon as you perform a find on a field, it will index it unless in the options you have this indexing set to none. And you can put it at all or you can have it automatically create as needed. If we uncheck this, then even if we perform a find, it won't index it. But if we have it checked, then it will create an index if we do a find. So let's just go to the birthday field here and we will do a find and we'll do October. And that is not good enough because it needs to be a valid date in this particular instance. So we'll do 10, 1, 
2019 and none match the find criteria. So even though none of them matched, now look at the birthday field. It is indexed and the more fields that are indexed, the larger your database gets in disk drive space. So you may want to watch for that possibility, but it can speed up the actual searches, except for the first time when it's actually creating the index. And then don't forget the save finds. This is like your personal script made on the fly. All of those finds that we just did are showing up here in the recent finds. And so you can jump back and forth very quickly, or you can even save the current find or edit all of your saved finds here, which we'll look at a little more in the advanced options. And we have so much more to cover in the rest of the series and advanced options, but hopefully this gives you a few interesting new ideas to use in your solutions, or if you are a user, that it can really enhance the way you find data quickly and productively. So I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next part in our series of FileMaker Finding Fundamentals.